Hey Crafterellas, it's me Alex and I'm coming at you today with a small haul of that store that I told you that I found in Reno and um, some exciting news about that store. And I've had a lot of um, questions on how I store my stamps and I don't even have like my craft area together at all yet. Um, it's kind of a slow process but um, I have spent last weekend and tonight trying to get some kind of system together so let's go ahead and get started because there's a lot um so like i said that store is called paper daisies that i that i found in reno and it's so cute because the bag that they give you your stuff in is this clear like bag with daisies so i thought that was a cute touch um first thing i picked up were these studio calico wood veneers and they're in like the banner So I picked up two of those. That was exciting. The other thing that I picked up was this stamp set from Pebbles to go with their Valentine's Day collection. And I'm excited that that word bubble is in there. Um, okay, so I picked up some papers. Um, and they're very, like, tediously sitting on here. That's why I'm like, ah. Um, this is part of the Follow Your Heart collection by Rhonda Ferrer. Um for my mind's eye and I'll show I'll show you the sides that I bought it for um, and I this honeycomb I love it with the pink and then this is be happy and this one is be amazing and it's the yellow version of this um, this one is part of the Be Amazing. I like how My Mind's Eye um, does like a collection, does a couple sub collections. And I got it for that. This is also part of the Be Amazing. And I got it for that. Although this side is pretty cool, but I got it for the yellow honeycomb. This is part of the Daydreams collection by American Crafts. I just thought that this was kind of cutesy clouds and a black with thin white pinstripe and cute little border. Um, got it for this green polka dot. Although the other side is really pretty like hot pink graph. Um, this is a boy's life. Remember I got that six by six pad and I was looking through it and I just saw Kat's video too and I thought oh I have to get this. It's this really cool chevron. It's called Energetic and I got two of those and then this is part of the be amazing and it's this really great gray houndstooth e kind of and then just some coordinating basil smoothie card stuff i love the basil smoothie um so that's that um okay i also picked up this is kind of hard to show because i've already put them in their projectors but it, this uh, Hoppy Easter with Banner, it's a We Are Memories dollar stamp. And then this other We Are Memories called Notes and Banners. So it's cute. Then I picked up these ones from Imaginese, the um, milk curtain, and the notebook paper. And then from American Crafts, I'm, you know, I'm finding myself picking up these small, um, like, dollar size stamp. I love my stamp sets, of course, um, but I'm finding that um, I'm picking these smaller stamp sets to use, um, probably because I'm finding that I can coordinate them all on a layout. Like, the layout, last layout I did, all the hearts came up from the same 99 cent stack. But... So American Crafts is also coming out with these little tiny stamp sets, and I picked up a couple. Um, bottom row, these are all part of their Holly Jolly Christmas, or Holly Jolly collection, and I thought those were really cute. And these ones are from their, I think it's their uh, Valentine's Day. But I thought this they were really cute. This one, no pun intended, really cute. And it has the clothing clip. 
clothing club. <laughs> um, and then this huge heart <laughs> right here. And this is sweet. And then this key, I don't know if you can see on the key, it actually has polka dots and this really cute cloud. So, and this leads me into, there's a couple other stamps I think that I've bought in here that I will show you. But this is leading me into my stamp storage. Um, and I'm sure 99% of you have seen this all over YouTube when you type in um, stamp storage. All my dollar stamps are kept so far in these um, baseball trading card see-through thingamabobbers sheet protectors um, and I just took them out of my huge binder which was kind of a dumb idea because now they're slipping all over the place um, and so I have those and then I also have these um, four by six ones let me put this under here um, these four by six ones which um, hold some of my basic gray and um, also hold my Jenny Bolin stamps. This is that huge, the dates, the days of the week that I just got. So, and now for the other ones, I'm going to turn, these are just the extra empties. Um, I'm going to turn my computer over. So you can see the fridge, it's got all the pictures of the animals, but that way I can show you um, what I've configured for my stamp sets that are like four by six and whatnot. And this is just binder number one, mind you. Okay. So here's my three inch D-ring binder. And I haven't decorated it or done anything like that yet. Um, and I pretty much follow the Jennifer McGuire um, technique of storing stamps. Um, and I picked up these sheet protectors. These are the CD DVD sheet protectors. I got them at Office Depot. They come 10 to a pack. It's like 8 bucks, um, And it fits a lot of stamps. So I'm going to tilt it this way. Um, whoa. And like I said, this is still pretty preliminary. Um, I've only been doing this for the last week and a half or last weekend and tonight. So things like my sassafras and, um, my cling stamp. Let's see, you know, and the American crafts and a lot of them fit in here perfectly. These are just some hero arts. I'm not too crazy about these stamp sets, but I wanted to see if they fit there, and I had taken the backs off. If you're going to do this, make sure you keep the cardboard with the stamp set. It makes it a lot easier. You know what the collection name is. You know the title of the stamp set. If you do videos or you do tutorials, that way you'll know what the heck you're using. <laughs> Plus, you can just see them better. And I'm not too crazy about these stamp sets, but um, like I said, they're in here for now. And then this is where I start my Technique Tuesdays and my Mind's Eye. You know, and you can see, like, I had to cut these down a little bit. Like, for the Technique Tuesday, um, I cut off the part that said Technique Tuesday <laughs> on the top. But it's okay because I have it on the back. Um, so I wasn't really worried about it. And same with the, my Mind's Eye. The name is usually on the back. And uh, here's my lawn fawn, and they're they're great because they actually put the title of the stamp set on the actual stamp set. Now here's some of my hero art cling, my background clings. What I did was I put them in here, I cut them down on the plastic that they come, and I put them in here, and then I tucked the little card that comes at the top of the pack with the name in here that way again you know and it, you don't have to keep the names if you don't want to of course you know it's your decision but um and things like the Meyer Road they fit in here perfectly 
And here's some Hero Arts that I had the actual backings for. And some October Afternoon. So as you can see, it all fits. Um, this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg for stamps. And it's not organized by anything. I, the best that I could do was to try to um, organize it by brand. Um, and like I said, it's a big heavy binder, but the great thing is that they're all together. They are protected. They're in plastic. Um, and then you can just kind of know, of course, you'll see it's kind of thick. So, um, but it just makes things really, really easy. Um, I was trying to, um, plan out a card that I was going to do, and I just was like, oh, let me think of what I'm going to do, and I just went through and was like, let me open my binder, and found a stamp set that I'm considering using for my next project. So that really, really helped, and um, this may not work for everybody, and that's completely okay, um, but because I don't have a craft space yet that's designated, and even when I do, um, the last thing that I, I want is a rack full of clips and stamps and, um, you know, I don't want a box. I want to be able to go through, I'm not going to stamp out all of them and have like a, a book and, you know, if you want this stamp on page one, go to page one of binder one. I'm not going to do all that, but it's much easier for me to flip through a binder to either get creative ideas or to look for what I'm looking for. And eventually when I get all the sheet protectors and I get them all done and all put together. Then it can divide them up by Christmas, Halloween, by brand, etc, etc. So that is that for the few of you that have asked about my stamp storage. Um, and I also will be doing a sale. Kate has like inspired a bunch of people to do this. And I've been going through um, my stash of stuff and I have a lot of stuff that I am selling. Um, a couple lots, some mists, some stamps. I have a huge lot for somebody who is a beginning scrapbooker. Um, I have a bunch of stuff from when I started scrapbooking about 10, 11 years ago. Um, and it's not, you know, top of the line rind stuff, but um, some older alphas and stickers and stuff like that that I just... Um, I love, I love them to death, but I, I don't use, my taste has changed a little bit. So look out for those videos, and um, this weekend I'll be going through a bunch of other stuff that I am trying to get rid of um, that need a home, need a good home for somebody them, for somebody them, for somebody to use. <laughs> Sorry, it's one o'clock in the morning. So um, take care, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye. So I forgot to tell you the exciting news about the store in Reno, Paper Daisies. So I was in there today purchasing what I purchased. And the lady asked me, do you like the Amy Tangerine line? Um, and I said, why, yes, I do. <laughs> I do like Amy Tan and I like her line. And so this lady informed me that Amy Tan will be doing a presentation at this scrapbook store that's like in Sparks, Nevada. <laughs> I, not even like a huge big city. Um, well, it's like the suburb of Reno. But she told me that in April she's coming up and she's going to be there. And so as soon as I find out the date, I'm going to sign my butt up to see her. So, um, and they actually are on like normal speaking terms with this lady. And it's so funny because she's kind of like a scrapbook celebrity. But, um... They're going to try to get the tags and which I saw Kate was talking about how she's been doing that for years. I've been doing that for years as well. Not on tags, but on papers and stuff. I've sewn words and stuff like that. But really, really exciting. And maybe I will get a chance to record the demo that she does. So more info on that when I find out. But just realized that I forgot to include that. Okay, bye.